This is interesting and I've actually seen this before IRL. So what will happen when these things are kind of busted up? What happens is you have an executive of a company who is by all intents and purposes, an executive, right? They're a C-suite person. They're at the office all the time. They are leading the operations of the business. They are making decisions. They are the epitome of an employee, right? A high level employee. And what they do so that they don't have to pay income tax on every paycheck is they say that they're a contractor and just take lump sum money. On the business side, they just put it to like professional services, which is the account that you would say if you contracted me to do an analysis of your books, that would be a write off and it would go to professional services. I'm not an employee, I would be a contractor, but these executives are paying themselves as if they are a contractor. So the CRA comes in and that's that's kind of one of their things that they look at where the, how they catch this is they look at all your buckets of where you've written things off. And if they see that professional services is super high, that's what can trigger them to come in and like check out what you're paying with that. And their first step will be to say, hey, give us a breakdown of everyone who's in here. And they go from there. So in this case, the CRA sniffed around and determined that, you know, oh, there was executive being paid as a contractor here. And they came in, did the audit and found out, yeah, this is, you know, you're definitely an employee here. So what happened was they basically redid history, figured out how much the person was paid, went back and did the calculations to find out how much taxes they would have had to pay as an employee and how much employment tax the company would have to pay for the time period. I think they went back seven years. So that's like the most they really can and presented all parties with a large tax bill. They had to become an employee from then on. And then it just puts you on the radar with the tax authorities as being an organization and a person that is trying to skirt the rules. So anyone else chime in? Uh, if you want to learn more and discuss this kind of stuff more, definitely join my Patreon. I'd love to have you. I need the rich.